Put God first. I have three words for you that will take you from this earth and off into eternity. Those three words are put God first. Learn to put God first. Throughout the Bible, there is a consistent theme, a consistent instruction, and that instruction is put God first. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 30. The Lord your God which goeth before you, he shall fight for you, according to all that he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. These three words will transform your past, present, and future. If you let God be the last in your life, you will have problems. You don't know what the future holds, but God does. You don't know what's in tomorrow, but God does. You don't know how things will be for you, but God knows all of these things. God has all the information that you will need to grow. God has all the information that you will need to become successful in everything. But you must put him first. King Solomon was the wisest man who ever lived. And we see in the book of Proverbs, he left some wisdom for his son and also for us. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 through 6 Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Look at what verse 6 says, In all thy ways acknowledge him. Not in some of your ways, but in all your ways acknowledge, and he shall direct thy paths. You and I need to learn to put God first in our lives. If you are putting yourself before God, if you are putting your career before God, if you are putting your friends first before God in every situation, the truth is what you put first is what is directing your path. God will direct your path. He will order your steps. But are you acknowledging him in all of your ways? Are you putting him first before anything else, before your desires and wants? In the book of Isaiah, we will find a place where the word of the Lord came out about the Israelites not being saved, even though they might have prayed. We know the Israelites for their long history with the Lord. In the pages of this book, their acts of disobedience is documented. They went into captivity because of their disobedience some of them died in the wilderness because of their disobedience. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1 through 3, King James Version. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, your tongue have muttered perversiveness. The people have prayed hard, they must have fasted, they must have attended many church services because they wanted to be saved, but nothing was happening. There was one thing they were not doing right. They were not putting God first. They are allowing sin in their lives. If you put God first in your life, you will run away from sin. If you put God first in your life, you will never think of going the ungodly way. These people wanted to be saved by God, but they were not putting him first. They will pray today and then sin tomorrow. Sin is what is controlling their lives and not God. If you are not running from sin and all kinds of evil, you are not putting God first. I want you to look at your life. You can say you pray. You can say you fast. But is God the first in your life? If they call you to follow them to sin, will you think of God first? Or think of the enjoyment of pleasure the sin brings? You don't need to deceive yourself. You can deceive people around you, but not God. God knows if he is the first in your life or not. 
Galatians chapter six, verse seven, according to King James version, be not deceived. God is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap. Putting God first means pushing aside any sin that can try to bridge a gap between you and God. God said in Isaiah 59, his hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. God is saying, if you put me first, you will be surprised at how I will answer your prayers. If you put me first, you will be surprised at how your life will change. I am not sure what you need God to do for you in your life today, but I want to tell you that your whole life will be transformed if you lean to put God first. Our Lord Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. God has everything you need and more. Putting God first is what Jesus told us to do in the commandments. Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 through 40. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all of your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. What will matter in the end will not be the number of church services you attend or the number of sermons you preached. The only thing that will matter is the extent to which you walked in love towards God and men. What will matter is if in your life, God was priority number one. All that the prophets taught and was emphasized in the laws of Moses is centered on love. Love towards God and towards man. The Ten Commandments can be summarized in love. The first four laws have to do with love for God, with the last six have to do with love for fellow humans. So today you need to ask yourself, do you love God? Is God first in my life? Is he the one and only God in my life? Do you love him? Do you honestly, truly love him? Or do you just proclaim you love him? How do I know I love God? How do I know that God is first in my life? The Bible tells us, John chapter 14, verse 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. This is the judge of the world speaking. This is the head of the church speaking to us. All that matters is that you love him. And the evidence of the fact you love him is you keep his commandments. Don't say God is first in your life and you don't follow his word. Putting God first is putting his word and commandments first. Putting God first is listening to the instruction, obeying him, following him. Luke chapter six, verse 46. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Loving him is the first and greatest commandment. Loving him is the biggest factor. It's not about how much you know the Bible. It's not about how much you attend church. It's not about how much you know about prophecy. The biggest factor is do you love God? Loving God with all our heart, soul, and mind means that God is at the core of your being. He is your heartbeat and all other relationships take a secondary role to your relations with him. Loving God with all your heart, soul, and mind means that you have allowed him to flood the thoughts of your heart. You love him with everything you have. If you can get your eyes of this world and of yourself and focus them on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will see what he has done for you. He first loved you even when you were a sinner. In your deliberate disobedience, he loved you. Loving God means loving him for who he is and all he has done to redeem you. When your love is from the right source, you will be able to live a selfless life for God. We know how far we can go for people we really love, the risks we can take, 
and the seemingly silly things we can do because of them. When we really love God, we will do all in our capacity to put a smile on his face. We will live holy and strive to bring more people into his kingdom. It's not about the miracles and wonders. When love is missing, everything else will fail. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. This is the truth that you need to hold unto. I hear many people say their family comes first and then other things follow. This is a big mistake. This is a wrong thing to say. This is like putting a cart before the horse. What must come first if you want all other things to go well is God. Let God be the first in your life. Don't allow sin to come first. Don't allow your house or your family to come first. Place your family in the presence of God. Ask God to take care of your family. Let God go before you in your family. Let him go before you in your business. Let him go before you in every area of your life and you will experience change. You will see that everything will work out for you. The time you have been feeling like nothing is working for you will be gone because God will be the first in your life. Learn to put God first.